Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm in my car, I'm at work, I'm on my break, I'm here to quickly give you a video because I wasn't going to do a video today, I was going to just leave it because there's been a lot of negative stuff surrounding Luton at the moment. It's been quite a difficult, you know, conversation to have at times because it hasn't been positive because of what's gone on in terms of the recruitment and obviously losing the first game of the season and I thought let's talk about something that's actually happened on social media today and clear a few things up now what's happened on Twitter um, also known as X for minority of the fan base let's be honest um, so fam, the fans are arguing amongst themselves some fans are like being ultra positive about the board fair enough that's your view some fans, including myself, are like, look, we need to be doing business. We need to hurry up. This is impacting us too much. And then there's other fans that are going, we need to spend more money and whatnot. So there's a lot of like opinions out there like you do. It's social media. It's one of the things everyone has an opinion and they post it online. You know, it's completely different to the 80s and 90s and early 2000s where you just had these types of conversations in a pub. Now people are having these conversations online. So, what is my view on it? And the reason why I'm, I'm probably a little bit more vocal on it because I got criticised a little bit because apparently people like me who make content online, um, we're a bit edgy with our content. We're just saying it for views and clicks, which isn't true at all. But I want to talk about our owners. Our owners, for me, are one of the best owners in the country, in the world. I love our owners. I wouldn't want anyone else owning my football club. They are brilliant. What they've achieved in a short space of time, you know, within since taking over the football club is an achievement which I don't think anyone will ever be able to recreate. And if they do, then fair play. But what we've done in, in, in terms of our success from non-league to Premier League is honestly fantastic. You know, from non-league to league two, it took us a while to get out of non-league. We got to league two. We then changed manager. Nathan Jones came over. Back-to-back -back promotions. And then we had manager, you know, changes. Nathan came back. He kept us up. And then Edwards took over from Nathan. And then Edwards took us up. Fantastic year in the Prem. Unfortunately, we did fall short. You know, whether whatever your opinion is, we fell short in the end. I felt we could have done something in January to help us stay up. But unfortunately, a massive injury crisis happened. We ended up getting relegated. We weren't good enough to stay up in the end, despite the point deductions. And now we're in the championship and one of the favourites to go up. Now, fans are frustrated because we've got money. Now, for the first time in the club history, we're probably the richest we've ever been in the club's history. And we're not spending the money. I, for one, I don't care how much money we spend. I just want players through the door because for me, there's gaps within the team. I feel like that need filling. And because we currently have those gaps at the moment, we are paying the price. So for me, defensively, we're not that great. And we're currently paying the price for it because I thought the game against Burnley. Defensively, we've been poor. Pre-season, defensively, we've been poor. And, you know, going into a season with a 19-year-old, 18-year-old and a 21-year-old as your back three, I think is a little bit concerning. Now, they are going to be good players, and don't get me wrong, they are the future of Luton Town Football Club. But as of right now, they are probably not the answer. Now, the argument is, OK, let's wait for these injured players to come back and play some... Um, yeah, wait for these injured players to come back and then everything will be sorted. I don't like that risk, you know, because the current players which we've got in the moment may break down or the current players that are currently injured may need a couple more weeks extra. So I feel like we need to address a certain issue. I feel like we are short at the back. I feel like we need a centre half. I feel like we're also short in the midfield. We need another centre mid. So I feel like we need to make at least two signings. Now, Rob Edwards has come out and said that he wants two to three signings. But the argument is these two to three signings should have happened before the season started. And I that's where I'm a little bit more vocal on. I do think we should have had players through the door before the season started because it would have prepared us a lot better. And I feel like we would have been a lot stronger going into the season. Right now, we look currently quite weak. We don't look defensively solid, um, which is a concern. And as a team that has been vocal, you know, from owners and to manager, we've been very vocal on the fact that we want to win promotion back to the Premier League. 
But if we're going to be dropping points right at the start of the season, then that becomes problems. So a lot of fans are just frustrated with the owners that, look, you're not bringing these players in. What What's taking so long? You know, we're not announcing anything on social media. I feel like the communication from owners to fans has been really poor over the last 18 months. It has appeared that way, especially like with the kit situation. Why was we the last, you know, club in the football league? Well, in the whole of england to announce that we had the same kit why couldn't we have just announced this a lot sooner so i can understand the frustration from fans i feel like what could solve all of these problems and concerns is just communication really now i know the club doesn't have to tell us who they're going after i'm not that's not what i'm saying but i feel like a statement or a little article going saying look we are trying to recruit players i know they are behind the scenes let's be real but we're not like we're struggling, but, you know, we are trying our best. But, you know, it's, I don't know how, how they're going to word it. But, you know, certain things need to be addressed a bit better, really. Um, especially, like, even with the new stadium in Power Court. I feel like we we sometimes have to wait ages to hear something about that. I do think communication needs to be better from top um, to bottom. Now, fans like myself, we're not saying spend 15 million on a player. Some fans are. I'm not in that in that conversation. I just want players coming through the door, fill the gap, and then it solves and it solves an issue which we've got currently within the team. Because then you can rotate better, and then the current players don't break down and get injured. Because this argument about waiting for injured players to come back. What about the ones that are currently fit? What happens if they break down? Then you're in a then you're in a circle. Then you're going like break down, players broken down, fit players return, back in the side, break down, injured, waiting for him to come back in the side. It's literally gonna be a circle. So look, I love our owners. I really do. And this isn't me disrespecting them. I just feel like we've made a few mistakes this summer. I feel like communication could have been a lot better. And two, we could have done our business a lot quicker. I know it's challenging. Premier League club, clubs are charging us more money in our um, in our fees. I completely understand it. But would I want different owners because of that? No, because I know the club's being looked after to the best of its ability. And until we're like going backwards for multiple years under our ownership, I'm never ever going to question how the football club is being run. However, one or two things I do think should have been dealt with i don't see any issues with praising the owners when they've done something right but then questioning stuff where we feel like they've gone wrong i don't see any issue with that um i think as long as you do it in a respectful way which i feel like majority of people are then i don't understand what the issues are so i just want i just wanted to say something like that i know there's a few fans that have come out today and yesterday saying about how they don't care about winning promotion to the premier league i don't understand that mentality for me I don't understand how you can have the mentality of I don't care what the result is. That 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 for me isn't sport. That really isn't. You know, everyone who competes in sport, you want to win. It's the whole point of um of a sport. I know winning isn't everything. You know, there's also like the community and everything else that goes around it. But most of the time, majority of you know sport and winning stuff is well, majority of sport and competing is about winning. Is what I'm trying to say. But look, I'm trying to be positive. Portsmouth away this weekend. My match preview will be out tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for that. But I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like things are just being a bit harsh, a bit negative on social media. And regards to the comments about clicks and views involving people like me who make content, trust me, if I wanted more views, there are certain things I could I could have said to get the views but i'm real as you can be i'm real on camera i'm exactly the same off camera so trust me none of us are fake or or edgy which i got called today which was a nice comment but look onwards and upwards up the hatters and yeah let's hope we can get some free points away against pompey on the weekend